Hello everyone, Don O'Don here again with another update on my War Corsair project. Today it's uh, in the 60s, supposed to be nearly 70 degrees out, so I decided I'm going to go ahead and do a little fiberglassing on this canopy mold. So right now I've got the first coat of microblooms epoxy mix. There's about three ounces of uh, epoxy and four or five ounces of microbloom mixed. So that takes and basically fills the pores of the foam. You put it on just like I showed on the epoxy wipe. You pour it on, you just squeegee it in. So there's a, almost a whole cup, that little cup there, I think they're like eight ounce cups. So that's on there. So now I've got my first layer of cloth cut. I'm gonna throw that on, wet it out, and then throw on a second layer. And then after that's all wetted out, I'll come back and show the results of that. Uh, but it is a beautiful day out today. It's, like I said, uh, it's gotta be pushing 70 degrees. Well, 71 degrees already and it's noon. So hopefully I can get this on. It'll cure, it'll probably take all day. Um, but after the two coats are on, then I can do the microbloom slurry mix on the top so it can be smoothed out and finished like the fuselage is there. And then it'll be ready for paint or gel coat or something. And then it'll be ready for to make the female mold from. All right, so let me go ahead and get this cloth on and wiped out and then I'll be back. All right, I'm back. I got the uh, two layers of cloth on. The first layer was some uh, scrap fiberglass cloth that I had I got from a friend. It was a fairly coarse weave, uh, kind of thick. Surprisingly, it ended up taking two cupfuls of epoxy to wet out. Uh, and that's four ounces of epoxy. So it took two coats of that. And then the second coat is a material I bought some vinyl some clear vinyl and it came wrapped in it. Well I can tell you this much, it's not fiberglass. This uh, cutter here, which cuts the fiberglass just fine, wouldn't touch the stuff, would not cut it. So then I got a pair of scissors out and I got these out and it cuts it, but it was extremely hard cutting. So my impression is it may be Kevlar. It came with the vinyl to protect the vinyl on shipping. So I thought it was fiberglass, but it's, I knew it wasn't fiberglass from before, but suspected it may be Kevlar. It's, uh, it looks just like fiberglass. I don't know what S-cloth is. It could be S-cloth. Whatever it is, it cuts hard. Uh, so it doesn't matter. This is just a, a plug for a mold, and I'm probably going to use that to make the actual mold out of because it is so tough. So I'll use probably two layers of that just to use it up. But it wets out a lot harder, and it only took one four ounce cup of epoxy to physically wet it out. And you can see it's got a really good shine on it because it's I left it on thick. I used up the whole four ounces to wet it out. And it also kind of give it a yellow tinge too. I don't know if that's something in the fabric. You can see it there, a little bit of yellow hues. So that's the way it's gonna set. It's uh, been, an hour, about, been about an hour since I started this. And it's temperatures holding steady at 70. So. It'll probably take most of the day for that to get hard enough. Um, then if it does cure up towards the evening, I'll mix up the first coat of microblooms and like a cake frosting and I'll spread that on there. And, and then I may have to take it in the house to let it dry overnight. Because this is a very, very low odor. I may have to run over that. There's some epoxy there wrinkling up. But uh, I'll have to, uh, may have to take it inside to let it set up good overnight. And then it'll be ready to start sanding down, but, but that stuff does cut extremely hard. All right, well, that's going to do it for now. If I do a little more, I'll tack it on the end of this video. So I'll be uh, seeing you soon. All right, everyone, I finally got it uh, pretty much dried up. It's still a little tacky, but it's about 6 p.m., and it was like 1 o'clock or so this afternoon when I got started on it. So I was able to trim this off with the very sharp new razor blades, but it was still tough to cut, so it must be a Kevlar. But it's, it's pretty much dry to the touch, but it's still tacky. So we'll take her in the house tonight, let her uh, cure all the way, and then the next phase will be the microbloom slurries to give it the final finish and a hand sand to get it to a nice shape. But as you can see, the shape turns out real nice.
when it had the straight epoxy on there and it was still wet, it, it had a pretty nice look to it. So, All right, everyone, that's going to be it for this update. <clears throat> Today's Sunday, so back to work tomorrow. Uh, it's still it's still about 70 degrees out right now, so it's been a nice day. Just became overcast lately. So, all right, that's going to do it for this weekend. I'll uh, as I get going on this, I'll hopefully get some more done and make some more videos. Keep you guys updated. The goal is to get this thing finished this year. All right, I want to take and say uh, thanks for everybody that takes the time to watch my videos. Feel free to leave any comments, questions, or concerns, and I'll ask them as they come, answer them as they come along. So. All right, hope everyone enjoys the video updates. This is Dana Don out.